Brian Manzella, director of the Brian Manzella Golf Academy at English Turn Golf and Country Club in New Orleans, Louisiana. Rory McIlroy won his fourth title in 2012 on the PGA Tour by capturing the BMW Championship by two shots over Lee Westwood. Rory makes a move in his golf swing through the ball and toward the finish. That's a little counter to what's being taught by a lot of people out there in golf instruction today. I'm going to show you how it helps him hit the ball long and accurate and how it can do the same for your golf swing. Before I show you the move that Rory McIlroy makes through impact and toward the finish, let me show you something that you're going to see if you travel out to the driving range and hit some balls on a given day. You're going to see people with this look in the finish where the butt of the club, this little T I've got pointing in the direction of the butt of the club, is pointing well to the left of the target. Now there's a proper way to make that move. You're gonna see Roy McIlroy and Tiger Woods and a lot of great players put that little move on at the end of their swing. And what they did correctly is they took this left arm and club unit, they rotated the shaft back on plane, and then they reverse rotated so that the butt of the club points somewhat to the left of the target, or a lot to the left of the target but it's not on a full bore shot. When Roy McIlroy hits a full bore shot, what he does is he keeps that club pointing at the plane line as he goes through the ball, and then as the butt of the club starts tracing that plane line, he gets to that same point where a lot of people start reverse rotating, and he keeps pointing that butt of that club down that target line, down that plane line toward the target. It's something I think a lot of people miss because he has such a fast through the ball motion, but if you watch it in slow motion, you're gonna be very surprised at how different not only that one last point, the last time that butt of the club points in the target looks than a lot of players, but also where that club comes out in his finish, it comes out a lot more through his right arm and not so helicoptered uh, through his hairline, which I think would be pretty standard. Uh, in the last 15, 20 years, or even above that, like the people that put that little reverse rotation move on there. Now, here's a drill that I like to use with my students who are having trouble pointing that butt of the club too far to the left of the target at last parallel to get them to learn to rotate that left arm a little different to point it more at the target, or even in this drill, slightly to the right of the target. So I'm gonna aim here about 15, 20 yards to the left of the camera. I suggest you don't try this with your camera back home. And I'm gonna make a nice smooth swing, and what I'm gonna try to do is point the butt of the club in this last parallel or slightly before last parallel position toward the camera right here. the line, maybe make a little practice swing, get that one last point, fire away. Now that butt of the club is pointing about 15 to 20 yards to the right of where that ball went. That's a lot more left arm and club rotation than even someone like Rory McIlroy uses on his long shots. But I find with my students that if you can get enough rotation in to get that one last point somewhat to the right of target, you'll be absolutely thrilled at how adding a little bit of that to your regular golf swing will help you hit the ball further and straighter than you ever have before. And maybe you can win four titles in one year like Rory McIlroy.